a polio outbreak in the Horn of Africa has spread to Ethiopia. An 18-month-old child in the Walder district of Ethiopia is the country's first polio case since 2008. Walder district is just across the border from Somalia, where 108 polio cases have been reported this year. A Somali refugee camp in Kenya has also seen 12 cases of the paralyzing disease this year. And joining us in the studio for more discussion on polio is Dr. John Sever, Vice Chairman of Rotary's International Polio Plus Committee. Dr. Sever worked with Jonas Salk, who discovered and developed the first polio vaccine, and with oral polio vaccine developer Albert Sabine. Dr. Sever, welcome to Africa 54. Thank you. Pleasure to be here. You are one of the pioneers of uh, the global fight against polio and uh, actually a driving force behind the fact that a Rotary International got involved, if it's fair for me to say that. Uh, could you give us a sense of how things have evolved over the year? What is your take? Well, we've made enormous progress. And we've gone from, in 1988, 350,000 cases of polio. That's almost 1,000 cases a day. And now, this last year, to less than 250 cases. So with an intensive effort on immunization of children, it's been possible to reduce the number of cases 99 plus percent and reduce the number of in countries that still have polio to just a few. So that progress has been important. It's involved uh, Rotary, uh, and with Rotary, the World Health Organization and UNICEF, and the U.S. Centers for Disease Control, and the governments of the world, and more, most recently, the Gates Foundation. And def so definitely a public-private partnership across the board. Yes, and it's a joint effort. And uh, we were fortunate in Rotary in um, starting with this program to focus on bringing the vaccines which were available in this country and we had used successfully. But um, the idea that we had was to expand it so that they were used throughout the world mm -hmm. and we could then eradicate the disease, Let's eliminate all cases of it. And we're down now to 250 or less cases this last year. So we made great progress on reaching the goal of zero cases. Now, reaching the goal of zero cases is definitely what many people hope for. Last year, when the cases had dropped tremendously, I remember people were talking about possible eradication. There was a lot of optimism. But now, with what just happened in Ethiopia, what, what should we make of it? Are we going backward? What is happening? What do you make of the case in, in Ethiopia? Well, there are important cases in Ethiopia, Somalia, and Kenya. And they've shown what we've known in the past and what we've seen in the past. And that is if polio is continuing anywhere, it can be brought into a country that's free of polio and cause it to restart. That's why it's essential to get it down to zero cases. A polio does continue at a very low level, in fact, the lowest ever in the countries of Pakistan, Afghanistan, Afghanistan and Nigeria. Yes. So, that's important for us to f continue to focus on, and we are, to er er eliminate the sites for polio in those countries because polio can spread out from there. So these three countries have been endemic for quite a while now. What will it take for a change to happen there? Well, there's a, a focused effort on now to um, increase the level of immunization, get to every rural location, every village, every subject all over the country. Because uh, polio is not throughout these countries, it's in certain areas okay, of those countries. Okay. And so we're focusing on those particular areas to get them eradicated. It takes a lot of work. They're often in uh, remote locations. Mm -hmm. They're uh, sometimes in areas that have uh, little other health care, and sometimes there's uh, civil unrest going on. So there's political problems. And so we have to work through religious leaders and political leaders and continue to work with our partners in getting this job done there. Now, we've had this type of spread that you just mentioned to uh, the Ethiopia, Somalia, and Kenya. Mm -hmm. We've had that type of spread in the past. So it's, we know it can do that, and, and we expect it. 
until we get the job completely done. We're still on course for eradication. Now, the important thing is that if it flares up somewhere, as it has, by spread from an, an area that's continuing to have polio, then we have to go in with intensive immunization efforts there, too. Mm -hmm. And that's being done right now. So is, is there a target day for zero elim elimination? We've seen the MDGs for other um, you know, issues and topics. For, with polio, is there any type of target? Yes. Uh, with this current strategic plan, the target is to have no more cases by the end of next year, 2014, but then to monitor very carefully for the next three years okay. to be sure that there are no cases, mm -hmm. that there's no isolated spot where there might be a case or two. Mm -hmm. So there's still that target. Now, we recognize that um, targets are interfered with by uh, people going across borders and infecting another of population or uh, civil unrest that doesn't permit us to get okay. in and immunize a certain group of children. So that's a, a, a target. We're prepared to meet that target and do everything we can to achieve it by the end of 2014. Okay, and we'll keep, we'll keep a watch on it. Dr. Sivera, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, that was Dr. Sivera. We appreciate his insight. He is with Rotary's International Polio Paths Committee. And that's your Africa Health Network report for today. For more health news and developments, be sure to visit our website, africahealthnetwork.com.